I know from the day you got here and the, uh, the band greeted you, it was uh, it was exciting. But I know it's a business trip as well. What's it been like the, the few days that you've been here? Well, it's been a it's been a great trip for our players. I think our you know obviously our coaches and and now that we're getting closer to game time, you know obviously that that focus gets even more intense the closer you get to Saturday. And and uh, at this point, you know uh, we feel like the fun stuff is just about over. You know we, we, it's, it's time to get dialed in. Uh, obviously, with early curfews, uh, with mandatory meals in, in, in the evenings, uh, and then obviously meeting times will will be more extensive. So it's it, it's getting a lot closer to the time we've got to be ready to go. As far as San Diego State, give us your impressions on the uh, on the Aztecs. I'll well, tell you, very talented team. I tell you, when you when you look at them offensively, you you, you see just a two double edged sword. If you try to put a lot of people in the box to stop him, and their quarterback can hurt you in the passing game with those big tight ends. And then if you're trying to spread out to, to stop the passing game, then you're absolutely going to have a lot of trouble with Hillman running the football. And so we're going to have to do a great job of tackling, and we're going to have to uh, hopefully uh, we're have to do a good job of, of uh, calling our, our, our defenses. And uh, hopefully we can guess right a few times. Offensively, where are some of the troubles with, with their defense and what they bring as far as the pressure on the edge? Well, I tell you, that's one thing. They, they do bring a lot of pressure. And uh, we, we saw a defense that's very similar to them already this year, uh, sort of somewhat the same scheme, and it was very tough to, very tough to uh, execute against it. Uh, they, they do bring a lot of pressure, and they've got a very good front. Uh, their linebackers, I think, are very solid. I think this overall very good defensive football team that plays really hard. How does this team, or how are they handling all this hoopla that surrounds the football team? You know, surprisingly, for being at their first game, first bowl game these guys have ever been to, they're handling it really, really well. And uh, we've got, you know, a really good group of seniors that has overcame a lot to get to where they are. And uh, I think they realize what an opportunity uh, they have, and uh, they want to make the most of it. For you yourself, what's been the most rewarding part about turning this program around this season? You know, probably uh, our seniors, seeing our seniors enjoy playing the game, seeing our guys on our team that's been through some long, lean years, and now it's getting them to knowing they're going to finish their career uh, in a bowl game. And we've got about four players on our team that grew up in New Orleans that's sort of been around the world from junior college back to the University of Louisiana, and now they're going to play their last game uh, in the Dome you know, less than a mile away from where they grew up. Do you like the matchups, matchup in this game for your team and matching up with them? I mean, do you, or do you think that, you know, you, th you like the matchups? Well, I think it's obviously two, two very good football teams. I think uh, they, they create a lot of problems. We'll have to play really well. Um, our, our whole key is I think everybody knows we're a fourth quarter football team. We have been all year. And if we can get that game to the fourth quarter, you know, we'll see what happens. So we, we're going to play very well now throughout this quarter, this game, because they're, they're very dangerous. How, how has extending your uh, season with the bowl bid and playing the bowl game right here in the state of Louisiana help your recruiting? Oh, you know, just, just uh, any time you're in a bowl game, that's the best recruiting you can do. And uh, uh, now you're getting a lot of exposure through the extra TV and uh, newspaper articles every day that's out about your practices, about the game. So uh, all this exposure has been huge for our program. And the added practice time that you, you're able to give your freshmen. So it just builds and builds and builds. Coach, what does this mean not only to your university but the entire state of Louisiana? It's, I think it's, it's big for our state. You know, uh, we've got a lot of very good college football programs in the state. And so we've been wanting officers to be much improved than we are. And we, we know we've still got a long ways to go. But uh, we think in 11 months we've really closed the gap and uh, made a lot of progress. Cool. How much have you guys played like, the entire season without a bye week? With the time off, you know, how do you feel about uh, these guys maybe not getting out to a slow touch with us? I hope we do. I hope we can get off to a really good start. Because we know we did not have a bye week until week 11 this year. Uh, we was the last team in college football to do so. But uh, the time has helped us heal up a little bit uh, and at least get our legs back. And so hopefully, uh, hopefully it'll help you know help us on Saturday. How much did being picked near the bottom of the Sun Belt and being ranked low in the country even? How much did you use that as motivation this year? A little bit, a little bit. Anytime you know you're picking 120, we were picking 120 by one pole, 118 by another. Uh, and that was, uh, don't, don't think I didn't use that. And uh, I think every, if, you, if you don't go to work every day with that in the back of your mind, you don't have any pride in yourself. And so I know it, it got to me, and I hope it got to those kids. I think it did with the, with the way we worked. Well, following up that question, I mean, right now, from what I hear, you're a slight underdog going into this game. Yet you're going to have a lot more fans. You're two hours from your campus. Motivation there? Well, you know, we, think about it. We've been an underdog just about every game this year. So I'm really glad we are the underdogs. The game that we did lose, we were we were favorites. So 
We're right where I'd like to be picked. Um, so hopefully, uh, hopefully we can prove them wrong once again.